What is up guys, welcome back to another video. So, today is the day. I know I've been talking about for a while that I've been trying to get the car on dyno after we got the custom tune from D-Rob. Now, we're gonna go do that. I was able to get in contact with Bruno and uh, today's the day. We're, we're gonna go check it out and we're gonna put the car on the dyno. I also came to Bruno when I was on 91 on the other tune. And on 91, I made about 240 wheel horsepower and 300 foot-pounds of torque at like 26 PSI. Now that wasn't a custom tune, that was a farable tune. Uh, keep in mind, I also had about approximately a gallon of E85 to help with the knock control. We E10, E15 is what they basically call it, and I didn't have a flex fuel kit either. Now, I am on an E30 tune from Derek Robinson. All right, so we're at the shop right now. He's already getting everything going. Fan's gonna go on top. We're gonna go ahead and plug everything in and get it going. Let's see how much this car pushes, guys. So right now I have it on low boost just to see how much it makes. So I have three on the fly map switching. So once we do a couple pulls on the first one, we'll start switching it just to see how it does on each map. Cool. You, you did the pedal dance for good. I did it already. That's already faster than it was on 91. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Not bad. God damn. That was way better. That's oh. loud. Way better. That's 300 foot pounds of torque. 300 foot pounds of torque? Let me see that. Hold on. Dude! They got rid of that spike a lot. Huh! Dude, that's crazy! It was like 25,000. Really? 25,000? And 12 torque? That's a lot. Five liter, dude. Stock turbo. It wasn't recording. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do another one for that? <laughs> well, uh, he's, he's not the, the one that records, so I, I give him that. That's some good satisfying numbers. Not too shabby, not too shabby. All right, let's run it with the Miata. No. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, once your boost hits, you're out. That's, that's not bad. The Integra would gap me for sure, dude. Good thing I have gap insurance, so. <laughs> Geico's gonna come up. I'm sure you guys saw it in the video, but right here on the screen, 263 wheel horsepower and 315 foot-pounds of torque. That's some good, healthy numbers. And then looking at the graph, dude, it's smooth. It is smooth. That first run when I did 250 wheel and 260 torque on, that was on my low boost. Dude, and just looking at the graph, it is, it's smooth, like it's great. Every gear picks up and goes. It, I have no complaints with this. As of right now, I pretty much did everything I can do to the car other than going bigger turbo. For everybody that's asking me, yes, I am gonna be going bigger turbo. It's, it's gonna happen. But if you guys remember the last video that we posted, uh, my wife got an RDX. So congratulations to her on that. And for people that know what the RDX is, it is a nice car. 
you know, it's her dream car. Uh, it has the 2.0 motor in it, so it's great, 10-speed automatic, all-wheel drive, it's awesome. That money that I was gonna be putting down for this car, because it was gonna be the head studs next, um, I ended up just giving it to her for a down payment, so. Oh well. <laughs> but regardless, we finally got on the dyno, guys. Full bolt-ons. I do have a high flow cat. Like, all my mods are in the description. This is what my car puts down. Now, I, I'm not going to say this is what your car is going to put down with a custom tune because every car is different. You could get similar numbers. I know people that are pushing 93 octane with an E30 blend definitely push a little bit more than what I'm pushing right now especially on stock turbo. Just keep in mind, I am using 91 here in California. That sucks, if I had 93, I'd be using 93. Other than that, Derek Robinson, the tune is awesome, thank you. But I gotta be careful with that much torque because that's a lot of torque. <laughs> Gonna end the video right here, guys. That's what it makes. That's, I'm satisfied with that. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more like 270, but 263, that's still not, still not a slouch. You know? Also, I know there's gonna be people out there saying, well, my off the shelf tune makes this much. They're stating that it makes 280 foot pounds of torque. Uh, this tune made this much with this mods. Every dyno reads different, guys. I was on a dyno pack today and my mods might be a little bit different than yours, but this was just so that you guys can have, I guess you can say a comparison because in all reality, we're gonna make similar numbers on stock turbo on 91 on the 30 blend. So, not bad, not bad. 315 foot pounds of torque is really good. So, like I said earlier, the next step is probably gonna be a bigger turbo and ARP head studs and not sure what else. <laughs> But until then, I'm gonna be coming up with different video ideas. That way I can get you guys entertained in the meantime. Uh, that way we can come up with it and go from there. So, but remember guys, at the end of the day, I'm just having fun with the car. I'm not trying to be the best or be the this one particular, you know what I mean? Like I'm just having fun with the car and it's it's doing what it needs to do for me, so. Hope that makes sense. I'll see you guys in another video. You guys have a good day. Peace.